You must. I do have to. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow morning. So you told me. Then goodbye. Great changes are about to take place in this country. Tremendous changes. But they can't happen by themselves. So naturally you feel that you personally Not have only to... me. Many people. Jews, Gentiles. Many people hate what is going on. Don't you understand? I understand, of course. You want to leave. Huh. Your father, the others here, think what happened at Seidel's wedding with a little cloud burst, and it's over, and everything will not be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Pogroms, violence, whole villages are being emptied of their people. And it's reaching everywhere, and it will reach here. Do you understand? Yes, I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. And goodbye, Richard. Before I go, there's a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question. What is it? The question of marriage. This is a political question? <laughs> In a theoretical sense, yes. The relationship between a man and a woman known as marriage is based on mutual beliefs, a common attitude and philosophy towards society. And affection. And affection. This relationship has positive social values. It reflects a unity and solidarity. And affection. Yes. And I am personally in favor of it. Do you understand? Yes, I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense. <laughs> yes. I am. I was hoping you were. Then I take it you approve. And we can consider ourselves engaged even though I'm going away. I am very happy, Hubble. Very happy. This is all my virgin. Why well, I used to tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I would die for, someone that I can live for. Thank you.